I'm fine. You ain't fine. We'll all be in far worse trouble soon enough, unless you get your head straight, Dutch. I am trying, God damn it. Leave me be, Molly. Oh, hey, Doc. Not good, clearly. Well, careful, Javier. Hi. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Keep my eye out for some good material. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Appreciate it, Pearson. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Hello, Miss O'Shea. Okay, Lenny? I'm fine. Just ignore that son of a bitch.
You've spoken of Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. You're an obedient little doggy, aren't you? What's wrong with you? You ain't so tough. You'll keep. Just back off, will you? Save my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Hey, can this wait? I'm kind of busy right now. Well, excuse no, me. Stupidity is born. Reading is the one hope you got of not being born. I can't. What'd you get, Javier? Never you mind, old man. Come. Have a drink with me. I don't know why you're still here, Reverend. At the campfire? No, here. With us, this mess. I don't have many other options. Hey, what's this thing down there? I don't know. I guess we're the team with it. I thought that was a castle. See, you're smart. You never got us that oil wagon, did you? I'm sorry, <laughs> I clean forgot. Well, don't worry, it's taken care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Well, yes, but uh, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. You meet us at the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See, Arthur, even you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes.
Hello, Arthur. Mr. Dutch, he's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. How do you mean? He's on vacation with the lower classes. Now, unprotected by women. You are too far on. Fire's appetite is never filled. Yes. He's very ornamental, as my author would say. You're awesome. Where was he? He was a slave. Careful with that axe. <laughs> Always good to see. Reverend Swanson, saver of bad men. I don't reckon. The last thing I need is you haranguing me. I'm only kidding around. Uh, okay then. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. You'll need to lift me onto the horse. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. Are we going the right way? So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> You've had a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first.
Yeah. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. Just by the water there? You mean? You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Where's your pole, Uncle Arthur? Well, first. We need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Ah, damn it. Didn't get him. Oh, no! This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Whoop, think I got one. Is it a big one? Fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear them out first before you try to reel them in. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. Try my luck over there. Got one, Jack. Now well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Oh. 
This one's a chain picker. Not bad. Sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. See what's biting there. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. There, got him. I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pink. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Please? Are you taking me back? I don't like it here anymore.
Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. this necklace ain't that pretty ain't i the luckiest did you thank uncle arthur no need we had a good time what's wrong nothing just met some folk i better go speak with dutch okay hey you did real fine kid thanks we got a problem what i just met some guys out near the river a fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Busy day. Everyone's favorite uncle. Hey. Excuse me, you listen to me. I ain't got ideas above my station. I just ain't doing that no more. We all of us have to sing for our supper, miss. Sure, and singing's fine, but I'm done with that. And if you want me to leave, you, that's fine, too. Saw, met, and got the full message. What did you think? Do whatever you goddamn I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Everything all right? Who does that woman think she is? Sometimes you just gotta humor her. Okay, I'll catch you later then. <laughs> <laughs> 